Hello everybody, Terry Carl Joyadian here with Law 44. Gratitude is stronger than fear from Dave Asprey's Game Changers. Almost done. And Dave says that this is one of the most important laws of all of them we've done so far. He said if you just focus in on this law, it can change your life. So let's dive in. He says that most of the game changers, most of the laws that he talks about, most of the people who are game changers are f combating the fight and flight response, the natural response that we have that's biologically programmed into us. It holds us back. It's great for keeping us safe, but we are beings that also want to grow. So all of these laws, all these tips and tricks are meant to help you be peaceful, calm, and push through that fight or flight response when you're faced with stress. Because stress can be very helpful and healthy if approached in the right way. So gratitude can actually really help us with fight or flight. Because when you're grateful, you are calm. If you, he says, if you think about if there's a tiger approaching, you're probably not feeling very grateful. <laughs> You're feeling terrified and upset and why is this happening to me? But if you are grateful for the circumstance you are in, that tells your system that everything is okay. So this is a neat way of looking at gratitude. This is another one of those that many gurus, that many self-help speakers talk about. The importance of that gratitude is top of the list and for some reason I've been resistant to that like blah 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 gratitude sure it can be it can be really hard to be grateful when you're in a situation that doesn't feel so good but this is something that can become a habit that we can slowly train ourselves into to help calm our system Dave Asprey talks about the vagus nerve which connects our brain to the rest of the body it's one of the key components of our parasympathetic system, our parasympathetic nervous system, which I've mentioned in the past, calms us down. P for parasympathetic, P for peace. Um, and you can actually improve your vagal tone. If your vagal tone is low, it's harder for you to calm down after a stressful situation. But if you have a higher vagal tone, you can improve, you can bounce back much more quickly. He says there are two main ways that we can do this through social interaction. He says actually when you help other people, it's a two-way street, and I'm sure you've experienced this, as long as they're grateful for the help. <laughs> when you're helping someone, it feels good for you to help them, so you have that strengthening there. And then also gratitude. Gratitude helps us feel safe, as I mentioned. I'm going to hop right to the tips here. There are always tips at the end of every law. The first one is, Dave says, to stop initiating fight or flight with worry by anticipating a problem before it even occurs. Of course, if there's a problem, you need to face it, you need to work with it, but you are stressing out your body and wasting your mind power, really, by worrying and thinking about it when you're not acting on it. Two, do something kind for someone else. Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now, but my dad used to always say when I was still at home, uh, make sure you do something for someone else today. Or he said, change someone's life today. Something like that. And I'm really annoyed that I can't remember it right now. Should have written it down, but that's pretty powerful. Just one thing. If there's just one thing we can do to make someone feel better, whether it's a word of encouragement or a compliment or opening the door for someone or... Um, lifting someone up, whatever, just one every day. That could change the world. Also, tip number three, every night before bed, think of three things you are grateful for. This doesn't have to be a right before bed practice, but he says when you are thinking of things that you're grateful for, notice what it does to your nervous system. And also, see where you feel it in your body. Four, speak in a calming tone when you want to turn off the fight or flight in yourself or others. If you've noticed if there's an argument and there's escalating, the tone is really grating, it's very aggressive, it's very loud. So the opposite would be a calming tone, softer, 
maybe a little deeper, more receptive energy. And he says that we know this instinctually. Parents talk this way to their kids when they want to calm them down. So we know we can tell the difference. Five. And finally, five, use music to calm you down if you're a music person. Play something calming with calming tones, calming voices if you want to calm down. If you want to build yourself up, if you need more energy, then he says, sure, put on that highly energetic music. But if you need to do the opposite, use the music to help you. And this is a funny one for me because I can be very affected by music, particularly if I've already been a little on edge. I've walked into the house sometimes, <laughs> and there was one time where Brian was playing um, some classical music, but I think it might have been something like Beethoven. I was like, doom, 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 doom. And I was like, can we, can we play something else, please? And he's like, what is classical music? I'm like, yes, but it's very intense classical music. <laughs> so there's a difference. So use that to your advantage, whatever you need to do with your energy, pick music that matches. I love that one. I hope you found these helpful. Please check out the other videos in this playlist. We're almost done. We have two more after this. Thank you for being here with me. We put out new videos all the time, so please subscribe uh, or like if you have not already. And we will see you for the next one. Much love and many blessings to you all. Bye now.